Oh, let's see here. Oh, I don't really need. It's harder to do this with sunglasses on than you actually think. There we go. Yes. For I'm Hobo Tom. And I'm with the FBI. Uh-oh. Wrong badge and should not. I'm with. Yes. Wow, these glasses are funky. Yes, but I'm the one, the only. I am Hobo Tom. And I went to go see a movie. It's a Friday night. And he's got to party with a date. And oh my goodness, to quote the butthole surfers, I could taste her on my lips and smell her in my clothes. Cinnamon and sugary and softly spoken lies. You never know just how to look through other people's eyes. Yes, I had an amazing date. Cheers to her. I do have to rehydrate myself a little bit though. We went out for drinks first, then as you can tell by the now ripped up El Cheapo Plastic Movie Ticket. And I don't know if you can see it, but it's all long legs. Um, interesting movie. But first, before we get to that, a little bit of the preview of the movie. Hello folks, Ryan once again, your host here. One, the only, well, based on my good looks, I am still a hobo Tom at heart. Yep, and I'm on my way because I have, as you can tell, I have my illegal movie candy. The tickets are there. I have a flower for a date. So, yep, it's date night again, baby. It's time to go see that movie, Long Legs, which looks more like that FBI thriller horror serial killer chasing movie which is good so i'll let you know how it is later folks bye yep the whole daytona one center yep that's right you can cheer <laughs> There is something very wrong with Aya. Get out of the house now. Yep, seats one and two. Nope. Well, actually, that was a preview of me and the ever lovely Tina Moser, whose last name I'm butchering. I'm we'll probably butcher for a while until I learn stuff. Yes. Uh. A little video of us, or me and us, heading out. We had a drink first, a nice beer, rock bottom, she had her glass of Malbec. Which I will remember. <laughs> I will make sure I have plenty of Malbec somewhere. Let's see. Yeah, well. The heck came out of that? Safety goes back on. And by the way, this gun looked way more intimidating than the gun. FBI agent had at the end. Oh, I forgot how nice this feels though. My breaded Neo 22. So pretty. Yep, I'll put that. I do have to shoot her again. Maybe that'll be a date. Take her to a gun range. That's an odd date in a quarter. Yes. So, a little bit of the coming attractions and posters from the movie theater. Would you like to see what I look like? Yes. There we go. This is a good seat, right? I and this is a That's what this is. Oh, the evil dead. You don't breathe. Aliens. I would know that sound anyway. And this is a no. Which one's this? Is this a smile one? 
Oh no, is this the Joker one? Doctor's orders. Hmm. Very good. Do you see milk in the fridge? No. Then I didn't pick up the fucking milk. Wonderful. Thank you. Hi, I'm Annie. Hi, I'm Annie. You don't have cash. Let's go to the ATM. We could go chill out in the private room. I got a kid who wants someone who speaks Russian. My Russian is terrible. I can't even roll my arm. Do you see milk in the fridge? No. Then I didn't pick up the fucking milk. Wonderful. Thank you. Hi, I'm Annie. Hi, I'm Annie. You don't have cash. Let's go to the ATM. We could go chill out in the private room. I got a kid who wants someone who speaks Russian. My Russian is terrible. I can't even roll my arm. You know what I like about this? I just realized that. That's a freaking... I have a good grip on it. And my fingers are nowhere near the slide. Wow. It's... I don't know why Brett had discontinued these. Very beautiful. Very sleek. Almost James Bondish looking guy. Cool. Enough about that. Uh oh. Phone call. Let's see here. Hey, Tina. Yes, I did. I just got home. Yep, but I made it home safely. Right. Actually, it was kind of. You are on your couch watching a movie? Dateline, baby. Dateline! Actually, it was kind of funny. What? <laughs> or ironic, because even though we went to see that one movie that was supposed to be, like, blood and gory, um, I don't know what happened. I don't know if someone, like, hit a can of red paint, but heading back up on Nova Road, there was like this whole red splotch and like all this red stuff like heading back up north. So I don't know if someone ran over something or or what happened. Or if someone found a doll of himself. Yeah, you did not Yeah, you did not need to hear all of that conversation. In particular. But so let's talk about uh, let's talk about long legs, yes. Long legs. So hopefully I got some lag out. Some lag out. Yep. yep. Again, I just you don't yeah, need to hear, need to hear all, of all of our stuff. Some of it is private. Yes, yeah, so long legs. Um, stars Nicholas Cage in it. Let me take this goofy thing off. It fired me, but this is going to be prop forever. Uh, so it starts Nicholas Cage. He's the one lone psycho. Uh, starts with a flashback. Actually, a pretty cool line, as you'll see in these clips.
But yep. Um, man, that is a nice sight I put on it too. Darn, that's so much easier to acquire than that black on black. Yeah. Uh, too distracted. I should put my firearm away. Yeah. Um, so Nicolas Cage is like the villain. Actually, the larger villain, Satan. Satan himself. But yeah. Premise is, it's an FBI investigation uh, about various murders that happen from 1975 through... So a picture of Bill Clinton, so that means 90... Probably in the 2000s. Which is that? Which, which I'm okay with that. Yeah, and it did, everything looked 2000-ish anyway with zebra theme pillows and other stuff. But yes, it takes place in Oregon where the weather is always rainy and damp. Um, so yeah, the one person witnesses is actually visited by the villain, the devil. First, uh, she becomes an FBI agent, has to. Go to a crime says no it's not that house it's that house her partner gets shot by the way and they did a lot of non-fbi-ish things like i would think if you're going door to door you'd want some kind of police person with you just makes sense to me then and moves on so so now we have this you know we have this killer they start a whole whole profile on the person um it's a lot of numerology Signs, codex stuff. Actually, I kind of enjoyed it from that perspective. They had a lot of FBI investigative techniques. Start to do codex, um, un, uh, numerology, things like that. Interesting stuff. Yes. Goes on. They 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 begin to figure out, and they begin to really break break down, like the crimes of what what are happening. So eventually, yep, she meets the her partners, who's I guess the chief or head special agent up there in Oregon, meets his family and stuff, and and you just know it's like, oh yeah, no, something bad's gonna happen, and very awkward interaction with the daughter and stuff. But they go on, uh, they solve the case, they catch said killer. He just has a bunch of bags at a bus stop. I'm like, that is so anticlimactic. Uh, then finds finds out that her mother is actually involved. And once you see the mother, you're like, you know what? There's a, that mystery door. You don't know where it goes. Down below. Yes. Uh, so Nicholas Cage is the doll maker. Dolls are cursed. Uh, the mother, the FBI agent's mother dresses up as a nun. Here's a gift from the church. And then implants something in their minds to for the husband to go bonkers and kill everyone and eventually himself get all by the devil so yeah very heavy at the satanic themes at the very end she finds out that yes her mother did do bad things and that the person actually lived in the basement of her house yeah not necessarily the best thing then of course for her to live she has to, she of course has to kill other people and, they, and all about the book of revelation whole bunch of stuff so I mean overall I enjoyed and I got into and where I was hooked was the whole kind of FBI process her sitting down figuring out all these codes and, and what and the numerology and symbols mean and I understood that so I enjoyed it from that perspective from and then it's like oh yeah it has to do with Satan and, and all the other stuff she eventually does shoot her mother square in the head they're a little again I'm probably being nitpicky there are little inconsistencies like when she goes to her little cabin in the woods they're like the doors she leaves it unlocked and then all of a sudden you go back to the door it's locked and it's unlocked again minor inconsistencies uh, I think she was carrying a Bretta because it did have a hammer. Brettas are known to have hammers on them. 
and then like at the end like the last thing they show is like a revolver because it look because if you look at like the silhouette of this you see how it's nice and straight I can hold it straight like hers kind of build out here and the size that made it that gave it a revolverish profile um, Brettas don't really have that thick of a sidewall again when I put mine up there you saw the mine's an octagonal barrel but you can see there is definitely a little part where the slide is right here a little gets a little bit thicker I don't know if you can see that it's a little thicker Brettas do that they kind of narrow in get a little bit thicker but not to the thickness of a revolver so I'm like is that a revolver she's holding I'm like wait a second she had a Breda the whole time my probably because I, again of where I work I'm beginning to notice these minor things um, overall it wasn't a bad movie my date gave it a 6 out of 10 she was expecting it to be a lot gorier I'm like nah you know looking at this this seems like more of that like, FBI thriller um, I'll say Buffalo Bill has a chat with Satan type thing the devil but yeah overall I'd give it a cheeseburger rating and that was long legs I mean if investigations and FBI groundwork are your thing could be your movie if you're into blood and gore yeah there were some bloody parts um, again when Nicolas Cage bashes his head against the metal table kind of gory nothing gratuitous um, a family that's been dead for 20 years are definitely going to be covered with maggots and decomposing nothing like outlandishly gross about that like yeah like, oh. but nothing like stomach curling really uh, I think my mother puked like I don't know that's whatever not necessarily the most glorious thing but yeah it's all a cheeseburger of a movie I can't complain about it again you guys want to go see it let me know in the comments what you think about long legs paid 25 for two tickets the date made it so worth it though she is such a pretty lady great conversationalist and someone like that likes to go out for a drink or two actually just one and I have one a lot of control there folks again I'd like to thank everyone for watching Please like, share, comment, subscribe, and I'll see everyone later. Bye. Yeah, eventually I'm going to do another movie review, and then next week I'm going to do previews for Slammiversary. I'll see everyone later. Bye. And don't accept dolls from...